Hello, my name is David Bohr and I'm an Apple Professional Development Consultant. In this video, we're going to look at learning physics with the iPad. And we're going to start by looking at iBooks and a particular book called a K, a CK12, a Basic Physics, the second edition. This is a really useful book. It's free from the iBook store. And we're going to specifically look at motion and uh, we can look at position over time and uh, there are other graphs in the book that explain this and uh, we're going to try and compare uh, how friction has an effect on uh, acceleration and motion. So the book is a useful resource as a starting point. The next thing students are going to do is to prepare some investigations and some hypotheses for these investigations. And to do this, we're going to use uh, Explain Everything. So let's create a blank project in Explain Everything. And Explain Everything, we're going to set up two screens first and then record our hypothesis. So I'm going to choose uh, the line tool here and I'm going to draw a line. This is the slope that uh, our car is going to run down. So let's uh, just get this in the right place. And now I'm going to choose uh, a rectangle uh, as my car. So I'll place the car uh, on the screen and I'll rotate it with two fingers and put it at the top of the slope. So that's ready to go. I'm now going to create a, another slide and on this slide, I'm going to do something very similar. So I will choose a line. And stretch it out. Get it in the right place. OK, and I'll now uh, get a, a rectangle again. Put that on the slope. OK. And now I think what I need to do is uh, think about uh, explaining what all this is. So what I might do is go to the pencil tool and uh, say this one is the wood. That's the first slide. And this is the second slide. And this will be carpet. So my car is going to run down two different surfaces. And now I'm recording, and uh, I record what's going to happen. So this car is going to come down the slope and accelerate down the slope. So it's going to get faster as it goes down the slope. And the carpet, is because it's going to be more resistance, is going to behave differently. It's going to go slower, and it will be interrupted to a certain extent. So that's the uh, two slopes. Obviously, these slopes will be the same size and the same angle. And uh, I will explain also, get, I'll get my students to explain through Explain Everything how gravity has one effect. And uh, there is an opposite force to gravity, which is resistance. OK, so that's my recording finished. I stop the recording and then I go and export it. And this time I'm going to export it to the photo roll. So this uh, export can take a bit of time. It's been sped up here for us. I click OK and we're ready to go. So the next thing I want to do is, an is analyze this investigation. And I'm going to use video physics to do this. In video physics, I have two videos, uh, one which is a plain piece of wood with a car that goes down it, and I have a, another video which is the uh, same piece of wood with a carpet on it, and again a car that can go goes down that. I'm going to use video physics to measure this now, so let me go back to the plain wood one. And uh, I'm uh, going to follow the instructions that says what I need to do is take that little circle and mark where the movement is. And each time I mark movement, you can see the car moving slightly as I mark. This will become uh, planar in a second. So it moves on a frame to time, and you can see the movements now are being tracked 
by me, by mark, putting that little marker in, creating those little blue dots. As you can see the acceleration there, the dots are becoming further apart. Okay, down there. And the next thing I want to do is measure the distance. So uh, I have uh, the instructions say, take uh, the little white circle and take it to the start. That's the start point. And I mark that one. And I mark the other one. And that distance is one meter. You can see it at the top of the screen. The next thing I need to do is get the axes right, which is the x-axis, which is the y-axis. Now this isn't running left to right normally, so I need to uh, get my axes and I need to rotate them and move them around so that uh, they're in the right place. Okay, so I've turned that round, put that here, and I'm just going to rotate it a, bit, a little bit down here to make sure we've got that accurately there. Okay, so the next bit is I can actually see what these graphs look like. Here we have our acceleration graphs, very similar to the book that we looked at. Okay, so let's go back now and uh, what we're going to do is go save this to the camera roll. So it's going to create a video of this, including the graphs. So the next thing I'm going to do is get the next graph, uh, which is the one of the carpet. So here we have the experiment with the carpet, and you can see the blue lines appearing there as it goes down. And I can do the same measurement as I did before, so measuring out where a meter is. So let me just get that and get the axes right. Okay, there we are, and let's have a look at the graphs. And we should see that the graphs are actually different. The slope will be different, for example, this one here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, export that. Now that's exported, I'm going to go to iMovie on my iPad. And in iMovie, I'm going to create a new project. And you can see in my video bin on the left-hand side at the top, all the videos that I've created, the three new videos I have created. One, which is from Explain Everything, I can get that into my project. I can then get the next one in, which is the uh, wood uh, investigation I've just done. And lastly, I can get in the carpet one. Here I can narrate uh, my video, I can add titles and explain exactly what is happening with iMovie, which is a great tool for presenting these sorts of outcomes. So hopefully you've seen how the iPad can be used to learn physics.